Yo, what's good, YouTube? Wanted to make a quick video. Um, just talking about reality of life, you know, man. Dealing with the downs. That's the title of this vid. So, yeah, without further ado, let's hop straight into it. So, uh, I don't know, whoever knows me personally, um, know that my uncle passed away yesterday, which is why y'all didn't get a vid, which was Friday. Um, so yeah, I just want to touch on not really, you know, how I cope with death or anything like that, but just the downs in general. Uh, Cause as we go through life, you know, as you're on your journey, on your path, there's a lot of things that, you know, get you down. You're not gonna be happy all the time. You're not gonna be, you know, in the best mood all the time. And I'll say I'm not in the best mood right now. You know, definitely got me down. Me and him were really close. He was my, probably one of the closest. Um, definitely probably the closest uncle I have, you know, um, and I think it's important for people to know that you're not supposed to feel good all the time. And me personally, how I'm dealing with it is, you know, sitting in it, you know, really experiencing how I feel and allowing myself to feel and allowing myself to be uh, emotional. Um, and, you know, because a lot of times people like to you know, suppress their emotions and suppress the thing that they're dealing with and then it's just going to come up later. So you might as well deal with it while it's going down. And, you know, it's not just my uncle. You know, I'm not where I want to be financially in life, where I know I can be financially in life. It's still early in that process. Um, you know, it gets lonely on the journey too. Um, People that you grew up with, people, your friends and stuff like that you may change over time and um, you may lose touch with some of them or not be as close to some of them. And it's part of it as well. Um, you might expect stuff from certain people that they don't do that you might have did for them or you know they don't reach out, stuff like that. They don't support, stuff like that. But it's just the reality of it. You know, the reality is you came in this world alone, gonna leave alone, and that's just how it's gonna go. And throughout life, there'll be uh, a lot of changes. You know, you might lose people, you might gain people. So, you know, just embrace where you are at in your journey. Embrace it. Uh, you know, try not to get too down about it, but really. You know, sit in that feeling, sit in that emotion. Because a lot of the times, that emotion is what's going to propel you forward. Uh, especially in the financial aspect, you know, if you're not where you want to be financially, those hardships and what you're going through can propel you forward to be in a better position and have you, you know, determined to do that. Um, touching on financial again, you know, I think I'm in a rebuilding per position in my life where I'm, you know, really understanding my purpose and understanding the gifts I want to give and share with the world and really cultivating that. Um, I invested a lot of money into um, a program recently, you know, investing into myself, a big chunk of my money. Um, so, you know, I just have to have faith that everything will work out how it should. But right now, you know, I'm not going to lie, you know, it's just not. So, Things will get better though, you know, have an optimistic approach. Um, there's always gonna be valleys and peaks and you just gotta know where you are at in a valley or are you in a peak state? And then how can you, you know, uh, get through that? Sometimes it takes time and time is the only thing that can heal certain situations like death, for example, you know, I'm not gonna get over this in one day, a week, month, whatever. You know, there's always gonna be times where it comes back up and I miss them a lot and, and other people who passed in my life. Um, so yeah, man, just embrace the downs, embrace where you're at, it's part of the journey. Um, and just, you know, strategically figure out a way to get out and don't, you know, place too much weight in uh, um, unforgiveness attitude towards people if they don't support you in the way that you want them to or uh, reach out to you or anything like that. Everybody has their own stuff they're going through. Everybody has their own stuff to think about. And um, 
you know, nobody's perfect. I don't reach out enough on people I should, or I don't do a lot of this stuff, so I can't be mad at somebody else for doing not doing it. Um, and there was people that did reach out, you know, there is people that do stay connected with me, and I appreciate them to the fullest. So, you know, it's important to look to the good in life and the of what you do have. And it just goes back to a video I recently made about gratitude and just being grateful for what you have, grateful for where you're at. Because, you know, a lot of people are killed for the position that you're at. Um, no matter who you lost, you know, a lot of people just don't have no family at all. I was just talking to somebody. Um, he moved over here from Africa, uh, from Dallas. I mean, he lives in Dallas now, moved from Africa. No family, no nothing, you know. So, you know, even though I feel, you know, lonely sometimes on the journey, I still have people I can reach out to and go meet and connect with in my home country, at least. You know, all his family and peoples is back home in Africa. So it's like, it's different strokes. It's different levels for different people. But never let nobody, you know, try to diminish your level either because emotions are real. And no matter if it's a first world problem, you know, somebody with a whole bunch of money, and they just feel mad because, you know, their dad's not in their life that much or something like that. And outside looking in, oh, your parents are still married, blah, 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 all this stuff. And they just maybe hurt because their dad works a lot or something like that. That same emotion of sadness is the same emotion of sadness we all feel when we go through something. So try not to diminish other people's experiences, but also don't let them diminish your own experience because it is yours and those emotions are very real. They're human emotions and everybody has to deal with it. And I think that was part of the grand scheme of, you know, not having varying levels of emotion because it's something we all can relate to. And I think that's going to be powerful for people when they, you know, cultivate their purpose and try to, you know, present something to the world is your story because somebody out there can relate to it uh, in a unique way, uh, just like how you relate to it in a unique way. So. Yeah, man, dealing with the lows, not in the best mood, not, not happy right now at this very moment. Um, I'm happy with life. I'm happy with everything. I'm alive. I'm feeling, you know, but, you know, do go through emotions, do go through stuff. So it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Uh, things will get better, though. I'm optimistic about it. Uh, so, yeah, man, I'm in this video here. Hope y'all out there staying blessed on y'all purpose, getting to the bag, you know, all that good stuff. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Stay up. It all gets better. And yeah, catch y'all in the next one. Peace.